What's up YouTube? So today's video is a little bit different than usual. We're going to do a vlog, a full week vlog of the second half of my cross country road trip. So any of you guys have been following me on Instagram or TikTok, you guys know that I'm doing a cross country road trip. I went from Arizona all the way to Michigan, but not only that, but I took the really long route to get there so I could collaborate with some other really good fitness influencers. So I went through Dallas, some Alabama, went through Georgia, and all the way through Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, all the way to Michigan. So I've been home for a few days now, been with my mom for several days, seeing some family, had a great time. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pack up the car. Right now I got a mid-sized Malibu. It's, uh, you know, it's not the most impressive car per se, but I'm on a road trip, I'm having a good time, and I'm not really worried about those kind of things. So I'm uh, gonna go ahead, pack up the car, and then uh, we'll hit the road and uh, we'll just go through the entire week. Should be a lot of fun. All right, see you guys in a minute. All right guys, so I'm all packed up in the car. Got my suitcase, got waters to last pretty much a week, thanks to my mom. <laughs> and then uh, I got my coolers with my uh, drinks over there on the, you guys can see right there. Yep. And then workout bag, supplements, couple snacks in there and then cooking utensils. So yeah, I'm ready for the rest of the week. So let's go ahead and hit the road. All right, so first stop is Chicago. And uh, I really enjoy Chicago, but what I really enjoy about these road trips most is the time that I have to myself to think about things that I normally don't have time to think about that are also really important for life balance. I'm really busy as a fitness influencer and I'm always thinking about creating content that it's nice to change of pace. All right, guys, so I'm in Kalamazoo, Michigan, which is about two and a half hours from Chicago. We're about two hours into the road trip. Just finishing up getting gas right now. But this is gonna be my pre-gym meal. So while I'm getting gas, I quickly go ahead and get my meal organized. So this is actually just steak and rice. I normally go with cream of rice with protein powder and almond butter because it's a much faster digester. But before my lifts, I love to have at least one meat meal. So I kind of made a, a little change and I'll probably eat that about an hour before I go to the gym so that I have enough time for it to digest because steak is a little bit heavier as far as food. And I also gonna wash it down with a little bit of sugar-free barbecue sauce. So it's delicious. I can eat that in about an hour right on the side as I'm driving. I'll make sure there's no one on the road when I'm doing that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be in Chicago. We'll be training with a former client of mine and also another TikToker, a really big TikToker, uh, Tyler Path. So I'm looking forward to it. All right guys, so I'm in Chicago. I'm in the parking lot right now. So I'm about to head up to the gym. I've never been to this gym. So it'll be interesting. See, I'm actually at the, uh, let me get a ticket here. So yeah, this will be cool. Um, never been to this gym. Obviously you guys that follow me on uh, TikTok, you guys know I'm gonna review the gym as well. So it'll be cool. I don't know how much I'm gonna actually film today in this particular gym. Uh, but I will be filming my workouts later in the week, uh, especially tomorrow when I'm just by myself. So this is gonna be more of a TikTok collab. So don't expect a whole lot of content through this YouTube vlog for this particular thing. What's up guys? So I just got done with the workout in Chicago. I ended up collaborating as we know with Tyler Path on TikTok and also my friend and client Tommy. And uh, this is my post-workout meal. Doesn't look very appetizing. I'm already over halfway through it, but I have six ounces of chicken with 200 grams of jasmine rice and 75 grams of asparagus. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this meal, edit some videos before I hit the road. And the goal is to get to Nebraska today. And that's pretty far still. We still got a little bit over seven hours of driving. The reason we're getting so far on the first day is because I have a pretty tall task of getting to Southern California by Thursday because I've got a lot of things, a lot of fun events coming up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as the road trip concludes. So the goal is to get there. That's where the main destination of this road trip is. So I'll go ahead and check in with you guys when we get at the hotel in Nebraska, and then we'll wrap up day one. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and uh, hit the road. There's no cars around me or in front of me right now. So this is a pretty safe time to say this, and this is on my mind and it's my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it. If you live out of state from where you grew up in, or your family lives out of state from where you live right now, 
make sure you go ahead and visit them as often as possible. My mom will see this video, whether it's in a week from now or two months from now. She always ends up watching my YouTube videos at some point. And I just wanna put it out there, and this might help someone else who may be going to college, out of state, or they now live somewhere else. Make sure you see your family as often as possible. They're the only people that truly have your back unconditionally, and it's very important to see them and to keep them as close as you can because this world is not guaranteed, it's not perfect, but they will always be there for you like pretty much perfect people if they truly love you and you have a relationship with them. So keep that relationship and keep moving forward with your life, but never lose sight of them. All right, guys, I'm exhausted. I ended up stopping in Des Moines, Iowa. I just couldn't drive anymore. So it's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my luggage. We'll go in the hotel. I'll show you the room real quick and then I'm gonna crash. All right, guys, back in the hotel. Gonna go ahead and give you guys a real quick tour. So right away, we got the bathroom. Actually got some pretty sick lighting. <laughs> um, pretty small, pretty small, pretty basic Best Western. But this is a king size bed, so I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. You can see here, it's already 1 a.m. though. Uh, check out, I was at 11. They said that they'd be pretty lenient and let me stay till 12 if I wanted. But I'm definitely gonna get in bed by then. And I think this is a pull-out couch, not that it really matters. Yep, pull-out couch, but yeah, pretty basic. Nothing crazy, normal sized uh, TV. All right guys, good night. Good morning guys, so it is 11.30. I slept like a baby last night, I slept incredibly. But uh, I just had breakfast, about ready to hit the road. My breakfast was steak and rice. I like to have my meat meals earlier in the day when it's like day two of a road trip because the food is in the cooler and I don't want it to spoil. Try to get that food in the system before. We're gonna go ahead, drive a few hours, kind of see where we end up, but we'll end up hitting the gym. I'll also take you guys through the workout. So let's go ahead and hit the road, waste no time, and uh, get closer to our destination. All right guys, so we ended up stopping in North Plate, Nebraska. So right now, I'm about to get a chest workout at Nebraska Athletic Club. It's kind of like a private gym, but you can get a day pass if you knock on the door and they let me in. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pre-workout in, change real quick, and then I'll meet you guys inside the gym. So this is my inner workout formula, which is glycogen and aminos. And if you guys are interested, click the link in my bio for EvoGen products. So we start off with some incline barbell bench press, and you can see here I'm starting with one plate, and then we progressively overload and go heavier. You can see here we end around 185 to 205 pounds, and Today, my strength is down a little bit because I'm exhausted from the road trip. So I ended up doing sets of eight to 10 reps at this point. As you guys can see, I also have no spot. So the next exercise is the dumbbell flat press. And I normally would go with another incline movement, but the incline machine press was taken at this point. So I just went ahead and went to the flat press. I did three sets of eight to 12 reps. I normally would actually do four, but I wanted to continue keeping my energy high for this workout because, you know, I've been doing so much traveling. I focus on time under tension. I don't just swing the weight up and down. I want to have full control so we really feel it in our chest. I actually really love this exercise and I arch my back when I do the dumbbell. Next is machine incline press. And this machine was a little bit outdated, a little bit old. I could definitely feel it when I was pressing. So I kind of just worked with what I had. This is one plate plus a 35 on each side. And I'm actually a little bit more tired than usual on this day. And I made sure I kept my form breaking down at the end, just to show you guys that we're not all perfect. You can see here, my shoulders are a little out of place, but we get through the set. And because I've kept my diet in check, I still salvaged a pretty decent pump during this workout. Our fourth exercise is the dumbbell incline fly. And you can see here the bench is, you know, definitely up. It's definitely still on an incline, but it's not quite as high as you see a lot of people putting their bench. When you put the incline too high, you start feeling it more in your shoulders. And you can see here, as usual, focus on controlling the movement and time under tension. Our fifth and final exercise for chest is cable chest flies. And I normally go with a pec deck for my chest flies to finish my workout but I didn't really like the pec deck that was available at this gym, so I just 
switched it up for this workout. All right guys, so chest workout complete. I ended up filming the tricep portion vertically for TikTok. It's easier to film for TikTok that way. Um, but here's a list of all the exercises, both the chest and the triceps right now. I'm just knocking out another 15 more minutes of cardio, 25 minutes total post-workout, and then we'll go ahead and hit the road. All right guys, so I got my post-workout meal here. This is six ounces of chicken, 200 grams of jasmine rice, and 75 grams of spinach on the bottom. So I love to have a whole meal post-workout personally. You could go with a protein shake and a banana as something to hold you over as well. That's another good option. But I love to have whole meals with foods that digest optimally and pretty fast. The jasmine rice is a fast digesting carb. So I'm gonna go ahead and smash this. Um, also on top too is sugar-free barbecue sauce. So I actually kind of caked it on. <laughs> um, I probably did about two servings, which is about 20 extra calories, but it just makes it taste so much better. And you know, at the end of the day, as long as you're aware of how much additives you are adding to your food and it hits your macros, that's the main thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and smash this in peace and then we'll go ahead and hit the road again. All right, so change of plans. It's almost one o'clock. I'm in Laramie, Wyoming right now and I should be in Denver or a little bit south of Denver, but I kept going too far west on the I-80. So now MapQuest has re-updated me and I'm supposed to make it to Salt Lake City and then south down to Vegas. So I won't get to Salt Lake City till tomorrow afternoon. Well, this afternoon, cause it's after midnight. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and find a hotel in a couple hours from now on the west side of Wyoming. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop open this bang because I'm gonna be on the road for a couple more hours. But you know what? It's a blessing in disguise. I get to check out a new city I've never been in. I've never been to Salt Lake City, so I'll be able to pass on through. So there's always a silver lining. If you guys enjoy this video, please subscribe. It honestly helps me out so much. And this is my 16th YouTube of the year. I've really worked to be consistent with it. What's up guys, just checking in. Uh, last night, I stopped in Rollins, Wyoming, which is where I am now at the hotel. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take it easy, get myself to Vegas and everything. The whole goal today is to get to Vegas. But uh, yeah, I got to take it easy a little bit, try to get myself right as I'm driving, and uh, I'll go ahead and check in with you guys later on today. So I just took a shower, felt a little bit better from that, but uh, quick physique update. The bathroom lighting pretty solid. Waking up pretty lean in the morning, so feeling pretty good about that. Been keeping the conditioning during this trip. All right, guys, so I finally got to Vegas. Super long drive. I ran out of groceries. So every single time that I do a road trip, I'll get groceries every three days. So this is day three. So we're gonna go ahead, stock up on some groceries. I picked a hotel that has a kitchen the extended stay so we'll be able to cook tonight so let's go ahead and go inside bonds and uh you guys will get a good idea of how i do things so i was saying that every three days i get groceries and whenever that happens day one and two i'm really strict to my plan but then on the third day when i'm running long groceries i'll grab like supplements like protein bars i'll grab like bananas uh i'll, I'll rely a lot on protein powder um, a little bit more laid back on the third day, but the key is that we're consistent so we still, you know, maintain our physique, maintain our progress. So for example, today, which is day three, I didn't have any more groceries, very minimal. So I ended up having Chipotle, I had a protein bar, I had a little bit of protein powder and leftover rice, and that carried me over through most of the day, but it's time to get back on track. All right, for steak, I don't really like the Vaughn steak. So we're gonna go ahead and go with some lean ground beef. So here you have an 85-15, you have an 80-20, and then you have a 93-7. Always pick the leanest beef. So 93-7 is gonna be the best quality. So we'll go with that, we'll roll with that for the next couple days for beef. The same thing goes for turkey. So you have 93-7 turkey there, 93-7, but then you got 99-1. You can't beat that, guys. So we're gonna take two of those and cook them tonight. So on the back, it's 1.5 grams of fat, guys. You want turkey, you want chicken that has two grams of fat or less. It's gonna be the cleanest source of protein for the turkey and chicken type of meats. So yeah, that's my strategy, guys. When I'm gone from my house for a week or so, and, I, and I'm gonna be going to hotels like I am right now and on this road trip, 
I always pick a hotel that has a kitchen every three days. So I'll cook and then I'll have a cooler for a couple days straight and then we just rinse and repeat. So the kitchen type of hotels sometimes cost more, but I always get like a couple like hotels that are just good for sleeping. So it saves me money the other two days. So I normally have eggs every morning, but I just don't see myself refrigerating the eggs or putting them in a cooler for a few days in a row, even if they're not cooked. Um, so I'll go with egg whites because they're pretty easy to refrigerate in comparison. So I don't like lucerne. I'll just go with this Eggland's Best. This will last me for two days. I'll probably have five egg whites a day. So I'm running low on actual rice and I didn't bring my rice cooker and this store does not have any frozen rice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it real simple and buy myself some rice cakes. It's gonna be a funny combination having um, beef or turkey and rice cakes for my carb, but I also have some oats at the house too, or in the car I should say. Um, so it will be an interesting combo, but this is only for a couple days. So it'll get the job done and we'll get these gains. By the way, each of these rice cakes has 50 calories. So if I want something sweet, I'll go with something like the caramel flavor. If I want something more neutral, probably go with the everything flavor, especially if I'm going to mix it with meat. So this is the rice cakes that I recommend a lot of my clients uh, go with. Uh, 50 calories per cake. They taste good. Uh, no real complaints. but. Obviously, this is not something that all of my clients use, but it's an option for a carb source. Got a couple bananas as well. So I got bananas, rice cakes, got some oats. So that's good for carb sources. Also gonna stock up on a couple Quest protein bars. So the weirdest thing, I don't see any asparagus or spinach at this Vons. So we're just gonna keep it simple and have green beans with a couple of our meals as well. So this would be my vegetable that I use for the next couple days. You could obviously go with a much higher variety of vegetables and fruits, but I'm just keeping things simple so then it's easy to cook and easy to organize my food. Hi, how are you? You get one 24 pack? Yep. All right, guys, so grocery shopping complete. Here's a list of all the groceries that I got. Just to recap everything, cost me a little bit under 50 bucks, but it's going to last me for the next few days. At the end of the day, it's better to do that than to go to the convenience store, the gas station, just go to the restaurant and buy yourself meals. It's gonna cost you more and it's gonna be less healthy. So it's definitely a better option to go grocery shopping, stay on track with your goals, your physique, and it's cheaper. So you can't go wrong by preparing and cooking your food. So right now we'll go ahead and go back to the hotel, unload the groceries. I'll show you guys the room and then we'll go ahead and conclude the video. So. I'll see you at the extended stay. All right, guys, so I'm inside. I'll go ahead and show you around. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. So a pretty basic kitchen. Got your uh, fridge, standard. Got my groceries in there. Stove, sink, cooking utensils. Got everything in the room, so it's a little bit cluttered. Just got, just walked in. Uh, got the desk. TV, pull-out couch, air conditioning. <laughs> uh, this is a king-size bed, so this will be super comfortable tonight. It's all pretty congested. It's not a very big room. And then you got your sink with pretty good bathroom lighting, but what hotel room doesn't have good bathroom lighting? And then we got the uh, shower. This is week three of the road trip. I've been on the road since July 7th. Right now, as I'm filming this, it's the 21st, and I won't be home until the 26th. So I still have to go to California tomorrow and I want to make sure I'm well rested and I have a lot of energy for the last handful of days. I'm going to be working with a videographer and creating a lot of content. So I'm going to end the video right here. But if you enjoyed this vlog, you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out so much and I've been really appreciative of all of the support you guys have been giving me over the last few months, especially really trying to grow my platforms on all of the social medias, TikTok, Instagram, even Snapchat, uh, YouTube, of course. So drop in the comments what you guys wanna see more of. I always listen and respond to your comments and I try to mold in some of the things you want as well. So that's gonna do it for today. We will do another YouTube very, very soon. So stay tuned, a lot more to come as the summer ends. So until next time, peace.